in a quaint coastal town, nestled by the restless sea, lived a young man named Ethan. Since childhood, he was captivated by the stories of the brave sailors who embarked on daring adventures across the vast expanse of the ocean. Ethan's heart longed for the distant horizons, and every night, he would lay in bed dreaming of the day he'd step aboard a ship and become a seaman. One fateful morning as the sun cast a golden hue upon the waves, Ethan's dream became a reality. He stood on the wooden deck of a massive cargo ship, the salty breeze tousling his hair. The excitement danced in his eyes, and he couldn't help but smile as he set foot on the vessel that would carry him to his destiny. The initial days at sea were a blur of new experiences and camaraderie. Ethan's heart swelled with pride as he worked alongside his fellow crew members, their laughter and shared stories echoing across the ship. The first night passed peacefully, his bunk a cocoon of dreams and aspirations. As the days stretched into a week, Ethan began to notice an odd occurrence. He crossed paths with his colleagues less frequently than before, and an eerie hush seemed to settle over the ship as night fell. Odd noises, like distant whispers, brushed against his ears, rousing him from his slumber. Puzzled, he confided in a fellow crew member, a weathered seaman named Captain Wilson. Captain Wilson's eyes darkened as he leaned in to share a chilling tale. He spoke of sentient souls that haunted the ship, souls of former seamen who had lost their way to the abyss of sorrow and loneliness. These spirits, trapped in a liminal world, roamed the ship seeking solace and connection with the living. They yearned for the companionship they were denied in life, their voices carried on the wind that swept through the ship's sails. Though apprehensive, Ethan grew accustomed to the presence of these spectral visitors as time passed. He would sometimes catch a glimpse of a faint figure out of the corner of his eye, or hear distant echoes of laughter in empty corridors. But like the others, he became inured to their ethereal existence, brushing them off as mere echoes of the past. One moonless night, however, Ethan's world took a terrifying turn. He awoke to a peculiar weight upon his face, as if someone's foot dangled just above him. His heart raced as he threw himself upright, only to find emptiness where the presence should have been. Trembling, he peered into the darkness, his breath hitching in his throat. Suddenly, a soft glow bathed the room in an eerie light. He turned to find himself face to face with a figure in an antiquated seaman's uniform. The figure's eyes bore into Ethan's soul, a mix of sorrow and longing etched upon its spectral features. It spoke a whisper that seemed to seep into Ethan's very being. I was like you once, full of dreams and hope, the ghostly seaman began, his voice a melancholic melody. But the weight of isolation and despair drove me to the edge. Far from my family, I succumbed to the darkness that lingers on this ship. Ethan's heart ached as he listened to the tragic tale. The apparition shared how the other souls, like brothers in suffering, had found a modicum of peace through the passage of time. They sought only to be acknowledged, to share a fleeting connection with the living world.